might be familiar with the Regency period through the works of Jane Austen and her contemporaries, or maybe through modern historical romance novels or TV series like Bridgerton. In either case, you might be wondering what exactly the Regency period is. Some people aren't even sure exactly what period these works take place in. For instance, I've seen people on the internet say that Jane Austen's work is Victorian or even Edwardian. So let's talk about the Regency period and what you might want to know about it. The Regency is a period of British history in the early 19th century. Sometimes it's applied kind of broadly just to mean the early 19th century in Britain, but Technically, it refers to the period of time between 1811 and 1820. And what it's referring to is the regency of the future King George IV. His father, King George III, was the current king at the time, but he was physically and mentally unwell and unable to govern a country. So his son was made the regent and he ruled in his father's place until his father passed away and then took over as king in his own right afterwards. The Regency refers to that period of time when King George III was technically still the king, but the future King George IV was ruling in his place as the regent. There were several notable authors and poets who produced some or all of their work during the Regency period, including Jane Austen, Sir Walter Scott, the author of Ivanhoe, Lord Byron, William Wordsworth, and Mary Shelley. It's kind of interesting, actually, to think about the fact that the novels of Jane Austen were being written around the same time as Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. It just kind of goes to show that no time period produced only a single genre or type of literature. Now, one thing that I think is interesting is that the Jane Austen-style Regency courtship novel actually spawned an entire genre of historical fiction and romance. I'm not a huge fan of modern-day romance novels, so a lot of this was not really on my radar until I started doing the research, but apparently the Netflix Bridgerton series is just one example of a huge subgenre of historical fiction and romance, which actually began in the early 20th century with a woman named Georgette Heyer. Her work was very strongly inspired by Jane Austen's, but of course, unlike Austen, she was writing it as a period piece rather than a work of contemporary fiction. And over time, the genre has evolved, often, as I understand it, with less emphasis on historical accuracy and more focus on the romance aspect of it being basically a romance novel with the Regency period as its backdrop. The Regency is well known for its distinctive fashion, particularly the women's dresses, and for its complicated social structure and being a society in which propriety and manners were really, really important. This was a time period with very strict unwritten rules, things like how many times a man could ask a woman to dance at a particular ball, or needing to be formally introduced before getting to know somebody. There were strict rules as to how people were to be addressed. So, for instance, if a family had multiple daughters, the eldest one would be Miss Bennet or Miss Dashwood or whatever, and the younger ones would be Miss Elizabeth Bennet, Miss Mary Bennet, and so on. And it was a time period in which women, particularly upper-class women, were very strongly expected to be wives and mothers and to make their life's work taking care of their husband's household, which is something that's seen in Jane Austen's work where, for instance, the character Jane Fairfax from Emma, because she hasn't yet found a husband and can't reveal her secret engagement to Frank Churchill, her only option pretty much is to become a governess. Or like the Bennet sisters, who their estate is entailed to Mr. Collins, and if they're unmarried when their father passes away, he will have the authority to kick them out of the home that they've grown up in. For all of its flaws, though, and the ways in which, yeah, we've made some progress since then, it's a time period that has captured a lot of people's imaginations. 